Welcome back, and we're going to shift gears here. Uh, we were talking about RFID uh, before the break, and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a different view on things. I have uh, Bert Denning from Alberta Agriculture in with me today. We're talking about the food inventory tracking and sales system, something called FITS. And before you have a fit about it, let me tell you what this is about. Um, you know, there's a lot of producers out there that would like to market their product to um, to the consumer directly or maybe to a retail chain or a restaurant. And uh, what we're going to do today is have a look at how uh, that can be possible with the FITS program and the front end that they've created as well. So if you have, uh, if you have a, a product that, um, you know, usually it's uh, beef or, or poultry or something like that or even uh, seed grain or whatever, or, or, you're, or you're producing a finished product on, on farm, this type of program, which is developed through Alberta Agriculture, can help move you into that next phase of marketing. So, you know, today we're going to have a look at uh, uh, an online application of this, but this certainly can be used as uh, a retail front end for a bricks and mortar storefront. And, uh, Bert, before we get started on the actual demonstration of this, let's talk about the background of FITS, how it came about, what the need was, uh, how, how you identified the need for it, and, and some of the things that have been going on. And I know there's some installs out there as well, so over to you. Yeah. How it came about was a number of years back, we, I, like I, I work with farmers that direct market meat mainly, and we've got a lot of calls lately, for example, from chefs in the city, and they said, well, how can I find local food? And that type of thing, when we realized there was a real gap out there, and we thought, well, w wouldn't it be great to develop an online type of store? Mm -hmm. So that was sort of the background behind it. And then also, um, a fellow that a co worker of mine um, basically is from Quebec and spent a lot of time working with a group of about 50 producers who sell product, all kinds of products, into whole Quebec, into a, a, actually a bricks and mortar mm -hmm. store. But they had huge inventory issues. How do we keep track of what we have? Mm -hmm. So that's sort of the background behind us. We thought, well, we need a, a way to track inventory and, and to basically work with this inventory to keep, uh, keep basically producers on track. So that's, that's basically the background behind it. Well, and producers are good at producing their primary product, but after they take it to the processor, that inventory becomes somebody else's work in process. Exactly. And yeah. as it moves through the food supply chain and, and values added to it, uh, it changes in terms of, of how it's put together or uh, 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 broken down into different cuts or different uh, marketable products. So uh, fantastic. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take a quick look over here to uh, at an online uh, application of this, uh, the uh, Pine Haven Colonies Meat Shop. And this is the typical front end we have here. And, and Bert, I'm going to let you explain what we've got here on the screen. What we have on the screen basically is a result of, of Pine Haven working with FITS and, and putting their products in. And we're going to show you later how to do that. So they've got pictures of their products and all the stuff they have for sale. So a consumer can basically go to their store online. They can pick a product. They can order a product and, and basically pay for a product. And um, and get it get it you know sell it that way. Um, Fitz also has the ability, for example, on this screen that that Pine Haven themselves can actually have um, um, specific price lists even for different producers or, or preferred customers, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Or you can restrict um, consumers or customers to certain cuts, maybe that they would be normally um, buy, mm -hmm. you know, that type of thing. So it's very, very flexible and, and, and beautiful that way. So one thing we notice on this application, just so that we're clear of what fits, uh, how fits fits, if you like, yeah. this is on um, a uh, developed website that, that Pine Haven has already put the, uh, put the pieces in to program the website shell over top of this. Right. And this is really, and I'm going to just back up for a moment here, this is really um, just a uh, um, an, an application that's that's within their website. Exactly. And really what, accessing yeah. the fits uh, fits yeah. application. Yeah, there's, an, there's they have their website that already exists, and there's an icon that that ha that would have to be programmed in by yeah. somebody, but apparently that's not so difficult. So you, you press the button, and basically you see the front end of fits. What we're going to talk, of course, about a little okay. bit later. So really, this is like adding a shopping cart to exactly. uh, any other website, and exactly. we just uh, are really focused on getting uh, uh, f uh, food in Alberta uh, put through this type of retail system. Exactly. Now, that's pretty standard in in the industry. 
uh, in terms of having a, a, an online grocery store if you want or a, uh, a shopping cart application built into your, your, your website, that's, that's pretty standard. We okay. see that with, you know, we've been buying things online for 10 years now, we've seen that. Sure. So that's not really unique about this. No. But what is unique is the fact of the way that you can manage the inventory on the back end. That's a little different than most other, um, I guess, shopping cart applications. Mm -hmm. And so we'll have a look at that too. So I want to just focus again on the front end here and have a look at the t uh, of how the products are displayed and and uh, you know this crisp view of here. So we have a number of beef cuts, uh, obviously different items in the uh, in the inventory, and these all link back to what's been loaded up on the back end, obviously. Exactly, right? yeah. Okay. That's where the pictures come from. That's where the, the commentary comes from. It all, it all comes from Pine Haven Colony themselves or, or any other producer that would be on FITS. Okay, they so. They put that in themselves. Yeah, so there, there's some back end, invol back end labor involved. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Certainly, uh, you know, there, there has to be somebody that understands the data that can move it into those places. Mm -hmm. Does, uh, does uh, the Alberta Agriculture help with that or has helped with that? We have helped with, uh, with the program. We basically Basically, I've been working with it about two years, and we had nine pilots on the program. Mm -hmm. Pilot Pine Haven Colony was our biggest pilot, and basically, we spent many, many hours there early in the morning, um, helping them cut and helping, trying to understand their business and, and what they do now. And basically, over a year and a half, it has evolved into what we have today, where a lot of little things that we had to, to fix and, and, and straighten out, and but, but slowly over time, we got a, really a program that works really, really mm -hmm. well, and. It, and if you would talk to them, they would say it saved them thousands of dollars, you know, in, in both labor and time, and, and it's really made their business much, much more efficient and, and streamlined. So certainly when we look on this application, it is, uh, they have a, a very wide product line. Exactly. And not every producer is going to be this uh, this sophisticated and well-developed, obviously. No. Uh, there's sausage-making cap capabilities in this. But this is to just really show the kind of the full uh, uh, scope of what you can do on the front end. Exactly. Yeah. And and like anything else, it's it's what you program in there, and what you're going to have for yeah. products. But it's, certainly, it's robust uh, mm -hmm. uh, enough to handle this. Now, when we come back, we're going to have a look at uh, more of a remote application with this, such as somebody that's selling directly to a consumer on a site, perhaps at a. Um, um, farmers, farmers market, market. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe making deliveries off a truck uh, mm -hmm. to uh, a restaurant or something like that. Uh, very small scale uh, in that regard, but we're going to have a look at some technology that fits in right with this when we return. So join us. Yeah.